How's everybody doing? Lunch was good? Comment ça va? Tout le monde a bien mangé? All right. Good. Hopefully, we had some lively discussions over lunch about dreams and visions and church planting. Pendant le lunch, par rapport au songe, au rêve, les idées d'implantation d'église. No? Okay, anyway, yeah, that's good. Point of interrogation. Yes, very good. So let's go to, uh, we're going to do some more teaching and then we'll do some discussion and interaction this afternoon. Let's go to page 26. À la page 26. Page 26. Um, uh, let me, we're just going to spend a few minutes here on uh, children and youth. Nous allons parler pendant quelques moments au moins de, des enfants et de la jeunesse. And uh, here we go. There's the foundations. Right, gotcha. Uh, here's, um, here's the scoop. Like, what has happened a lot of times is, um, like, we're pretty big believers, like, in um, uh, children and youth. And, um, like, the youth kind of need to have a group that they can call their own. Les jeunes so, ont besoin de, de, d'un sens euh, d'appartenance à un groupe. Sorry, I'll move back over here. Uh, so, um, there's, we found that a lot of young adults are really motivated about doing house churches. And Il y a also, beaucoup de, de jeunes adultes qui sont vraiment motivés par rapport aux églises maison. And also, uh, empty nesters, like, like a, a, um, uh, couples that, you know, a lot of their kids are out of the house. That seems to be a very good age. And also, the young adults seem to be a very good age. So, aussi les couples dont les enfants sont déjà partis de la maison. And in between there is basically families that have children and youth. Et dans le milieu, il y a des familles qui, qui ont des enfants de la jeunesse. So that's a little bit of the reason for this chapter here. Et c'est la raison pour laquelle on met ce chapitre-là. And uh, because we do have that, de- that demographic that uh, are, are wanting to be a part of house churches. Parce que nous avons une démographique qui, qui désire appartenir uh, dans uh, une église maison. Thank you. Yeah, so, so if we just look at there, look at in your manual on page 26. Um, page 26. So we just see here, the Lord values children. Children should be an active role in house church life. Uh, and then there's a, there's a couple of scriptures there. Les enfants doivent vraiment être participants actifs dans la vie de l'Église. Quelques écritures. In a house church, you don't really start a children's ministry. You more or less wait to see who God brings. Dans une église maison, on ne commence pas avec un ministère, le design d'un ministère pour enfants. On attend pour voir qui Dieu attire. So you don't like start a children's ministry for the sake of having one. But, but if people come that have children, guess what? Children's ministry. And the same with teens. Like you don't start a youth group, a youth ministry for a house church. But if families become involved that have teenagers, then you become intentional in that area. Mais si la fam- famille arrive avec des ados, là, il faut être intentionnel. So just as we're looking at looking at this here, essentially there's different models that your second bullet uh, and I think you have a lot of text in here. Good. So your second bullet there is various creative options for children in a house culture. It goes Option on to say creative pour les enfants dans les églises maison. There's there each culture is different and probably you would know more than me in Quebec, even what expectations parents parents would have, and 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 so forth. Chaque culture est différente, et vous mieux que moi, vous comprenez euh, les exigences de la culture québécoise. So here is like one six six different ideas. Yes. Number one, family participation plus separate children's ministry time. La participation de la famille en plus d'un temps de ministère pour les enfants à part. And so what happens here is the children come right into the house church meeting and maybe participate in, uh, in uh, like the worship part of it or the Comme ça, food. les enfants sont là, ils, ils participent à la louange. So they're, they're, they're there for the food and they're there for the worship time. Ils sont là pour, pour manger, pour le temps de, de louange. 
but then there's, uh, there's some dedicated time where the children are pulled out of the meeting Mais and one of the house church leaders consacré will, pour les enfants un des leaders de l'église maison so one of the house church not, not even leaders members is going to give them a lesson or or do something intentional with them over that time quelqu'un va préparer une leçon précisément pour eux, pour eux. okay the next one uh, there, the next point there, who ministers to the children when they meet separately? Here's some different ideas. So, Voici quelques idées de qui peut exercer ce mystère auprès des enfants. So most of the time, we are wanting the children, the children are not going to be in the house church for the whole time. La, euh, normalement, les enfants ne sont pas dans la réunion de l'église maison pour le temps au complet. So how that works is like various house church members could take turns ministering to the children on a rotating basis. Certains membres de l'église maison peuvent, euh, sur euh, une rotation, euh, prendre leur euh, moment pour euh, exercer le ministère auprès des enfants. So it could be anybody from teens or parents or... Um, des parents, des ados. A, a, a young adult or whatever. Des jeunes adultes. Uh, but what we, if it's a couple that are involved with the children, one of the things we always encourage si un couple qui s'implique dans ce ministère auprès des enfants is that a husband and wife don't go with the children together c'est que l'homme et la femme ne vont pas avec les enfants ensemble but either the husband or wife stays in with the main group mais a tout le rôle pour que l'un et l'autre euh, passent de temps uh, dans, dans le groupe uh, de l'église maison. So the strength of that is that one of the one part of the family, one of the the spouse or the the the, the either the man or the woman is there and gets to experience the life that's happening in the house church. Puis, so they uh, together they stay current if that makes sense. Le bénéfice c'est que à tour de rôle ils, ils sont participants dans l'église maison pour avoir les enseignements pour rester uh, à jour. The next uh, paragraph there talks about total family participation. La participation de toute la famille. And here, um, here you have, uh, in this situation, the children are in for the whole length of the whole house church meeting. Dans, dans, dans ce, ce, ce style-là, les enfants et toute la famille restent pour la réunion au complet. So, I mean, there's ideas you can do there. I mean, maybe you have the worship more focused with the children. Peut-être le, le, la louange plus focalisé sur les enfants. And uh, possibly um, there's another meeting where the men or women could meet separate for breakfast or, or, or something like that. Et la possibilité d'une autre réunion en semaine où les, les, les adultes peuvent se rencontrer pour avoir un enseignement plus approfondi. Uh, the next bullet there is basic child care. Uh, les soins de base des enfants. And it's, it's actually okay just to have uh, hire somebody to come in from the outside. Puis c'est c'est tout à fait approprié de d'embaucher quelqu'un qui vient de l'extérieur tout simplement so, pour faire la garde d'enfants. You can hire a couple of babysitters and have them watch all the children, and then the rest of the group either goes to another room or can go, you know, to a coffee shop or something for an hour or so. Engager une gardienne pour les enfants pendant que les adultes euh, euh, sont dans dans la réunion. Um, yeah, so it was, anyway, that has happened in Europe a fair amount. En Europe, uh, ça se fait. Also, outside children's ministry is another option. Uh, the basic idea here. Uh, le ministère des enfants à l'extérieur. Uh, is that an outside person is going to come in and do the children. Que quelqu'un de l'extérieur vient pour exercer un ministère auprès des enfants. So what that could look like, going back to our diagram here. Le de notre uh, schéma. Is, is maybe if you have two house churches in your network si y a deux, euh, églises maison dans le réseau, that have children, maybe somebody from, somebody from this group is maybe going to help out here when they have their meeting because their meeting's Friday night and these guys meet Saturday night. On, on le rencontre devant du soir, puis, Numéro deux, le samedi. And then vice versa, somebody from here can come over here when, to take care of the children when they have their meeting on Saturday night. So you can see, like, pretty much all these examples are pretty straightforward. Um, sont assez bien définis. That would be the next, um, next example there on the top of page 28, um, page 28. Where the house churches serve each other. Les, um, les églises maisons se servent mutuellement. 
And the last option there is that there's house churches with no children's ministry. Il y a des églises maison sans mystère auprès des enfants. Which is basically because there's no children. Parce que il n'y a pas d'enfants. Which, uh, you know, obviously, as I mentioned before, because there's so much flexibility, Parce a tellement de flexibilité, uh, we can oftentimes have a demographic that comes together that is homogeneous or the same kind, like ah, business people or un young un adults. Demographique homogène. So um, let me just talk momentarily about youth there. Je vais parler brièvement de la jeunesse. In a few words, this is a real need. Um, Because if a house church has youth that are coming, it's, it's too small, it's almost always too small to have a youth group. Alors, comme ça, si une église maison a des ados qui se présentent, euh, d'habitude, il n'y a pas assez d'ados pour avoir comme un groupe d'ados. So, what we're doing with our house churches in Pennsylvania is avec nos églises, the network forms a youth group together. C'est que le réseau crée un groupe euh, de jeunesse. So there might be three youth from here, one trois from here, de, four de, from here. De, de cette maison, deux de l'autre, puis trois de l'autre. And then, um, so then up here, there's a youth leader that puis, uh, forms a youth group with all the, with the different house churches. Puis là, il y a un, un leader de jeunesse qui forme son groupe avec les ados de, de toutes les maisons. So, and, and also, because there's finances available, maybe that youth leader would get some you know, paid for half a day a week or get paid something anyway to... Et comme il y aura des finances disponibles, uh, on peut imaginer uh, que ce leader de groupe de jeunesse ait un salaire pour une demi-journée ou quoi que ce soit. So that's just to kind of give us some general background Alors pour to what would happen with children and, and youth. Des idées en, en, en général. Um, let's go ahead and on to page... Uh, let's just talk about leadership training. Uh, la formation page 29 du leadership au, à la page 29 I'm just going to spend a few minutes here on the the levels of leadership in a house church ministry Je parler des niveaux de leadership dans le ministère des églises maison And once we have those defined and I'm going to I'm going to talk as well we're going to look online and see like Dove has a school that's online that would be available Dove a, a une formation online en anglais Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll, uh, let's, but let's look at this first here. Uh, effectively, uh, write down Luke chapter 16 and verse 10. Luke uh, chapter 16, verse 10. Uh, and I'll we'll just paraphrase that, paraphrase that. It says, if you're faithful in little, he will make you faithful in much. Si vous êtes uh, fidèle en, avec peu, il, il, il va vous donner beaucoup. So in house church ministry, our goal is to get everybody involved in ministry. Notre objectif dans les églises maison, c'est de voir tout le monde s'impliquer dans le ministère. And many people involved in leadership. Et beaucoup de gens impliqués dans le leadership. So if you look at those, those different levels going down through there, first of all, as a discipler. Premièrement, la formation de disciple. And so that discipler is someone who is able to nurture a new Christian in Et their Christian cette faith. Personne, est une personne capable de d'aider un, un nouveau chrétien avancé. Really in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Dans une, euh, euh, une ambiance un à un. The next is a small group leader. Euh, après ça, il y a leader de petit groupe. So when the house church is meeting and there's 20 people. Quand l'église maison se, à ces réunions, il y avait peut-être une vingtaine de personnes. And when that, they, that, that 20 people breaks down into uh, five groups of four, Et quand ces 20 personnes se divisent en cinq groupes de quatre, for 30 minutes or 40 minutes, pour 30 minutes, 40 minutes de discussion, where there's, that's where the spiritual parenting and discipleship is happening. C'est là où, où le, les parents spirituels vraiment euh, ont l'influence. That's another, another level of leadership. C'est un autre niveau de leadership. So the next level is house church team leadership team member. Un prochain niveau c'est euh, l'équipe de leadership. So we, we said that each, the leader of each house church should not be alone, but it, they de, should be a team. Mais on ne devrait pas être seul. So now we're talking about being a part of the team for an individual house church. Maintenant, on parle de, de, de faire partie d'une équipe pour chaque église individuelle. That helps to make decisions there. C'est l'équipe qui aide à prendre des décisions. 
And here, here's, um, let me just write this down for you, or you just write it down on, on, along the bottom. Si, the si job, the, res un, un page. the responsibility of leaders is number one. La responsabilité des leaders, numéro un. Protect. Protéger. Number two. Numéro deux. Direct. Diriger. And number three. Et numéro trois. Correct. Corriger. So all leadership gives an umbrella of protection to everyone in the group. Tout leadership crée un, une parapluie de protection pour le groupe. And this leadership team also provides the direction. Et l'équipe de leadership fournit euh, le, 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 une direction. What direction is this group going? Uh, dans tel, quelle direction on s'en va? So it, it relates to the group. Alors, par rapport au groupe. We're not directing people what color car to buy or de, who to marry. Pas dire aux gens quel, quel couleur d'auto acheter. That's controlling. That's ça, ça, not ça, good leadership. Contrôler. Ça, ça peut diriger. But as far as the group is, here's the direction we're going. Mais pour la direction de groupe, où s'en va le groupe? Servant leaders. Des serviteurs leaders. And then the last th thing that leaders do is correction. Et la dernière chose que font les leaders, c'est corriger. And I just, just to cover this briefly, uh, that it, the Bible says that there is a need for loving correction. La Bible dit qu'il y a besoin d'une correction dans l'amour. A lot of correction. Et beaucoup de correction. Happens with, by teaching. Arrive dans l'enseignement. You can, listen to this. Most times you can teach your way out of a problem. La plupart du temps, on peut donner des enseignements pour euh, s'en sortir d'un problème. There's a, there's a New Testament word called admonish. Le mot dans le Nouveau Testament, c'est exhorter. Admonish means teach with correction. Ça veut dire enseigner avec correction. Rather than saying, no, no, that's not how you do it. Au lieu de dire, non, non, fais pas comme ça. You show them, here's how the biblical way to do that. Voici un modèle biblique de comment faire. So it's teaching with correction. C'est enseigner avec correction. And, and again, the clear majority, 100, almost 100% of the time, correction is not done publicly. Et 100% de temps, la correction n'est pas apportée publiquement. Even in front of the full, you know, even if it's just 15 or 20 people in a house church. Même si 12, 15 personnes dans l'église. Uh, most of the time, the correction can happen privately after the meeting la, or in another venue. La correction doit être apportée en privé après la réunion. So that's simple, easy to remember. Responsibility of the house church leader is protect. La responsabilité de leader, c'est protéger. Direct. Diriger. And correct. Et corriger. And, and, and so that's what happens here with this team. Now, et going back. Et c'est ce qui arrive avec l'équipe. So going back to your, our progression of leadership, we, we see next after being on a house church Ap après, leadership team. Après être membre de l'équipe de leadership. Now that person might or might not feel called to be a new house church leader. Cette personne est peut-être appelée à être un leader de nouvelle église maison. And so that then this leader. Et ce leader is going to maybe, after they're a leader of a house church, après, guess what, there's going to be a team up here in the network, too. Après avoir été leader d'une église maison, peut devenir un membre de l'équipe de, de, de réseau de leader. So, this, that person can become a team member up here. Peut devenir un membre de l'équipe de, de leadership de réseau. Or eventually could become a network leader. Ou peut devenir un leader de réseau of this network or maybe another network. De ce réseau, de notre réseau. And um, so, so you can see the progression. Et vous pouvez voir la progression. In there it talks about a, a leader of a network of leaders. Puis on parle aussi d'être leader d'un réseau de réseaux. So we want house churches to multiply and multiply and multiply. Et nous voulons voir les églises maisons se multiplier, se multiplier, se so that we can, we can see the kingdom expand. Pour voir l'expansion du royaume. So on the next page there, on page 30, à la page 30, uh, we see, like, how does the leadership training happen? Comment est-ce que la formation arrive? And, and we know that um, uh, there's a lot of that happens through a spiritual parenting, which is one-on-one. -on -one. Beaucoup, c'est le contact un à un avec son mère ou père spirituel. So we're on page 30 now, right? À la page 30. 
So that personal mentoring is, is like this monthly leading, meeting. Un, un personnel, une fois par mois. So the, the, I, I do that kind of mentoring if, you know, uh, like with Mark and I, we do it on the phone because Avec I can't Mark be here all the time. Nous, nous le au uh, and I do that with a lot of leaders and pastors. I, I'll do that mentoring. It's a monthly meeting. So Je, le, le, la rencontre avec, comme mentor, c'est une fois par mois. So if they have questions or thoughts or things that they're praying about, they don't have to call me all the time right away. Instead, they know, oh, I'm going to be on the phone with Brian next week. Parce qu'ils savent que la semaine prochaine, Brian uh, va me téléphoner. And I'll make a note, and I'll have some things to talk about him when we call. So that can be very practical. Ça, ça peut être très pratique. That relational connection, that spiritual parenting connection. Contact, uh, avec un parent spirituel. Uh, as well, the next point there is that house church leaders get on-the-job training of leaders, uh, of give on-the-job on the training of leadership team members. Les leaders d'église maison forment effectivement les membres de leur équipe de leadership. So, if I'm meeting with a new person who wants to start a house church, si je fais rencontre, si j'ai une rencontre avec quelqu'un qui veut commencer une nouvelle église maison, I'm going to have Mark come along with me. Mark va m'accompagner. And we're going to go together. And Et nous allons ensemble. Watch this interaction as we hear this person's vision. Et regarder la réaction en écoutant la vision de la personne. So that Mark can learn leadership by being with me. Mark apprend le leadership en étant avec moi. And we can talk afterwards. What did you think of that? He Et can give me feedback. Et nous parler par après, échanger par après. He can help with discernment. Il peut aider avec le discernement. There's this little scripture, this little scripture where it's just, just the very shortest phrase that Jesus says. Il y a une courte phrase que Jésus a répétée. It says when Jesus chose the 12, he chose them to be with him. Quand Jésus a choisi les 12, il les a, cho il les a choisi pour être avec lui. So there's an aspect of tr leadership training that is classroom. Il y a un aspect de formation de leadership dans la salle de classe. But there's an aspect of leadership training that is to be with a leader. Et il y a cet aspect d'être de, de pouvoir accompagner un, un leader. And, and so we have this kind of on-the-job training. Et nous avons ce, cette formation sur le champ. Uh, as well, training for house church leaders. So the network might once a month have a, have a training for all the leaders to come together. Et le réseau peut peut-être offrir une fois par mois une formation pour les, les leaders. And likewise, they might have a training for the leaders and all their teams to come together. Et peut-être une formation pour les leaders et toutes les équipes ensemble. As well, the leader of a network might have training with other network leaders. O aussi, le, le leader de réseau peut, lui, euh, avoir et vivre des formations avec d'autres leaders de, de réseau. Okay, so those next thoughts there talk about Dove Leadership School and Ministry. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to try and take a look at this. Um, this, is, this is a school that's practical and it's available for everyone. So, we're going to look up there at the screen. I'm going to keep talking. We'll see if uh, I'm not used to. Okay, here we are. So, here is, uh, this is a total online school. It's called... Dove Global Access. Dove, Dove, Dove Global Access, une, une école de formation online. Okay, see it up here in the corner? Okay, Dove Global Access. And this, this school is a total online, tra uh, online course where you go through and watch videos and do a, an assessment at the end of each video. On peut regarder les vidéos, puis il y a un questionnaire pour, pour évaluer à la fin. So over here, it's, um, each of these is called a learning path. Chacun de, de ces cours-là s'appelle un, une piste d'apprentissage. So here we have destiny, spiritual gifts, and leadership. Uh, destiny, uh, les dons spirituels et leadership. Fivefold ministry and New Testament leadership. Les cinq ministères et leadership de Nouveau Testament. 
helping people find freedom. Aider les gens à obtenir euh, la liberté. Uh, and the Bible and church history. La Bible et l'histoire de l'Église. Missions and practical ministry experience. La mission et les compétences pratiques pour le ministère. Advanced ministry skills. Uh, compétences avancées pour le ministère. The kingdom of God. Le royaume de Dieu. Church planning boot camp. Uh, boot camp pour uh, implanter des églises. And missional kingdom communities. Et les communautés de royaume missionnaires. Missional, there you go. Qui ont une mission. So all of those are, these are all video training that is in English. Toutes ces formations en vidéo sont disponibles en anglais. So I am sorry for our, uh, sorry that we can only do one language at this point in time. Pour le moment, il y a une seule langue qui est disponible. So here's the first learning path. Voici le, le, le premier, la première piste d'apprentissage. So I'm going to click on that and come here. And uh, here is, uh, let's start with this one right here. Uh, this is Larry, um, actually, let's go to this one here now to think about it. This is, this is Learning Path 1, course number 2, Finding Your Field of Ministry by Larry Kreider. So there's a video. Trouvez votre domaine de ministère, un video. And here is the notes which you can download. Les notes de cours. So there are the notes voilà, voilà les notes. To, the, to the video that Larry is, is speaking on. Et par rapport au video. And uh, here then we'll show you as an assessment. So, et, et so here's the video. Voici le video. There's a little bit of an introduction and Larry's going to come on and teach. So these, all these videos are about 20 minutes. A les, course is 20 minutes. Les vidéos sont d'à peu près 20 minutes. You can see it's actually recorded in a classroom. All the classes are recorded in a classroom in our school in Pennsylvania. C'est enregistré dans une salle de classe en Pennsylvanie. So, after you finish the video, à la fin du video then you come down here. And, um, and then you do the assessment. Et vous prenez, euh, so this one I've already done. I got 100% on it. <laughs> But I'll just demonstrate. Thank you. Since I wrote the test, I guess I hope I get 100%. So here's a question. Peter's field of ministry was to the Jews. Well, if you just... If you just watch that video, you would know that that is true, Vrai. right, yeah. Next question. Uh, Paul's field of ministry was to the Gentiles, true or false? True, right, very good. Next question. You will find grace when you are in your field of ministry, true or false? True, that's very true. <laughs> And we, we connect in your field of ministry, it says in Ephesians, There will be grace in your field of ministry. So the interesting thing is, uh, if you get the wrong answer, you have to keep trying until you get the right answer. Ah, si vous si vous cochez le, la mauvaise réponse, vous devez continuer à cocher jusqu'à avoir la bonne réponse. So um, we'll exit out of that. So this is, uh, as I mentioned, there is a. Uh, 24 learning paths, yeah. and they all each of, each of these has 24 courses in. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 24? Yeah. Nine learning paths with each 24 courses. Sorry. Yeah, neuf pistes d'apprentissage et chacun a 24 cours. Okay. So this is all uh, accessible through the Dove website. It, um, you can go on accessible and, and pay with uh, uh, PayPal. Et vous pouvez payer avec PayPal. Sorry. Uh, let's just see what we can put in here. Not that one. So I'll... Um, OK. 
Okay, here we go. Sorry for the delay. Complete online. So here uh, you see training schools. And then you come down here to Dove Global Access. And this is the page. There we go again. You heard that. Here's some more information. And then here, here is the pricing. It's $495 U.S. for the whole thing. All the whole thing. All over 200 courses. 216. Yep, yeah, right there it says. Good point. So there's Larry talking about school. So we're going to go through here. You can see this is just a PayPal account. We're going to pay here, and then we'll go through and add to the cart and and just keep going forward. Then you get a password, and you you'll go right. You get a link, and you get a password, and then from then on, you'll have like six months to go through all 216 courses. Comme ça, il y a six mois pour passer tous les 600 quelques cours. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about that training? Des questions par rapport à la formation? It's brand new. Like we just we just started this. It would just went public like three weeks ago. Alors ça, ça ne fait que trois semaines que le tout est sur le sur le site. Questions? Accessible. Yes. Yeah. That is U.S. dollars, and so that is 495 for the whole thing, everything. So you pay, pay once up front, and then you go through. Yeah. Our our school itself is not accredited. L'école n'est pas accréditée. We transfer credit into other schools. So I actually I don't even have it up on the site yet. Uh, there's a Chesapeake Bible College. In uh, Chesapeake, Virginia, if you complete our school, you will enter their school with 13, no, 15 credits of advanced standing, if that makes sense. Oh, Is that too uh, much? Uh, uh, <laughs> Chesapeake Bible School, we have our case crazy, whatever that means. Yeah, 15, 15 credits of advanced standing. So it means that you enter their Bible college online. With uh, with already 15 credits in your account. Et ça c'est aussi un collège online. And then they're also we're also can transfer credit into Wagner Leadership Institute. Uh, Institute. Aussi Wagner Leadership Institute vous pouvez un transfert pouvez avoir un transfert de crédit. But if you're looking for a traditional Bible college degree, degree, Chesapeake Bible College would be the one. So we're not accredited as such, but we transfer credit into. These other programs, and you start with advanced standing. Notre école n'est pas accréditée, mais vous pouvez avoir des transferts de crédit. Which is a good partnership. I just spoke with the dean of the college at Chesapeake last week, two weeks. C'est un bon partenariat. Yes. Un plus fort. If I if I'm in a, a house church as I am, and uh, I have the the vision and the call to start another house church, house okay. church, do I? Is this essential? It is not required, but it is uh, encouraged. <laughs> okay. It's I mean it 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 is essential for your success. Yes, amen. It's not a requirement that you have to do it. It's not exigent, but it will contribute to success. Yeah. So, I'm. Uh, yeah. I. My, you know, this is basically like our our whole like our whole leadership training. It's general leadership training, but also in a house church setting. It's a formation leadership, but also in the context of the house church. So, yeah, that's how I would answer that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, uh, are they made in the order? Yes, you have to. That is correct. It is set up so that you have to go through everything. Okay, l'ordre des cours est séquentiel, séquentiel, oui. Puis il euh, faut les suivre en ordre. Yes. 
we, yeah, we thought about it in a lot of different ways, but that's what we ended up ended up doing. Ah, okay, yeah. So, like, um, the module number or the learning path number three is helping people find freedom. So that's like a whole uh, twenty-four courses about help, helping people get free from the demonic. We talked about oui, freedom uh, weekends and stuff. I mean, this, this school would include a lot of what is written in a lot of these books as well. Leadership, et, et development, de de ce dans ces qui sont fivefold edité. ministry, etc. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, we're about halfway through our afternoon session. Nous sommes, uh, <coughs> Au mi-chemin de l'après-midi. And so on the top of page 31 on the right, page 31 en haut, I see we have discussion questions both in English. Oh, des deux côtés, les, les questions pour discussion sont en anglais. That's the only mistake I found so far. <laughs> Somehow we missed those questions. <laughs> Um, what I'd like you to do is uh, look at question number three, and we're just going to take five minutes for you to share the answer to question number three, which is in English. La question numéro trois, nous allons passer cinq minutes en petit groupe à discuter. What is the most important thing the Lord has spoken to you today? La chose la plus importante que Dieu euh, t'avait dit aujourd'hui. So let's take five minutes and get, let's get with the same person you were with before. Avec la même personne que tu, que tu étais avant. And share with them the most important thing you feel like the Lord told you today so far. La chose la plus importante que vous avez entendu de Dieu jusque là aujourd'hui. 